Okay, so now we're going to start practicing distant chimes. First, we need to locate hand position, left hand middle C, up a third. One, two, three. You're on E, thumb on E. Right hand A major five finger pattern. Major five finger pattern is made of whole step, whole step, half step, and the whole step. Okay? So now remember second measure and the fourth measure we have beginning with the uh, eighth note rhythm. So be careful when you're counting that uh, you need to count very accurately. So here's a demonstration. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Now you can also count this by saying your finger numbers out loud. Therefore, you won't get confused by counting the numbers but playing down the different finger numbers. So here's another way that I kind of prefer to do as, uh, this way as well. Uh, saying your finger numbers out loud when you're counting. So here we go. One, one, two, five. Three and one, two, five. One, one, two, five. Three and one, two. B section, second and third line, B and B1. That is mostly, well, it's all made of uh, uh, interval of fifth position. So really, you, we need to practice locating these hand positions. Left hand is a fifth, A and E. And the right hand is made of fifth, F sharp and C sharp. So we need to locate these two positions first. Then the second measure, second line, second measure. Left hand is going to move onto down a third, onto F sharp and C sharp. Remember, we just play that in the right hand, F sharp and C sharp. Now we're going to start with the left hand playing the same notes one octave lower, and your right hand is going to lower by a second. And that's all you need to know for the B1 section. So first we're going to practice blocked hand position, left, right, Well, B1, B1 section is going to go down to D position, A, D and A, then the right hand thumb, notice in the thumb, left hand to right hand thumb is a seconds apart, so you're going to start on B and F sharp, so left, right, just like the B section, the second line, left hand is going to move into the same position the right hand just played, B sharp. B and F sharp and A and E. So we're going to practice this block as well. Here's third line, B1. Left and right and left and right. Repeat. Left and right and left and right and. Good. So now I'm going to go back to second line, the B and practice the blocked B through B1. Left and right and left and right and left and right and left and down the third. Left and right B and D and and left so practice enough times where you get really perfect, then we're going to practice what's printed on the music. Start with your fifth finger, five, one, one, five, down a third, F sharp, and left, and right, and left, and now prepare to move left. B section. Now let's go down to the very last line, the bottom line of the first page, where you finish the B section in here. So your left hand this time has to go down one, two, three, four, five steps into a fifth. Remember this piece is made of lots of fifth, 
So left hand, fifth finger, E position, starting on the fourth line. Right hand's going to imitate. Then the left hand's going to cross the right hand, going into D position, another fifth. Right hand imitate. And then the third measure, go on to the fourth finger, G sharp. Four, three, two, cross over. Three, two, cross over. So here's the C section. Ready and five and cross. that we practice C section uh, repeat uh, practicing until you get a pretty pretty good then you can start from the top of the page and then practice the first page now the second page the first three lines are exactly the same as the first page so we're gonna go on to the very last uh, line on the second page so we're gonna start on B1 the third line just like we practiced earlier to E, the second page, the C2 section, begins on B down a second. Okay, so here's your B1, you're ending in B and F sharp in the left hand, then your left hand is going to move to down a second to A, and your right hand is going to be thumb, left hand, E, up a second, F sharp. Here we comes the fifth again, so we have left, right, now left hand is going to tuck under and repeat the exact same pattern, A, F sharp, A, F sharp, three times total, third finger get ready for A natural, two, three, four, get ready for the left hand A and right hand A, okay, so here is C2 section, left hand, fifth finger on A. Five, F sharp, under, A, F sharp, under, A, get third finger ready on A, one, two, three, eyeball the A's, okay, so be sure when you get to the end of F sharp and C, last time you're playing this pattern, get ready for your third finger so that you will misplace your third finger. So really, this chord is called an F sharp minor. However, if you don't want to know that, it's okay as well. Just put your third finger in the middle between the F sharp and the C sharp. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start from uh, B section, the second page. Actually, no, I'm going to go back. I'm going to start with uh, uh, the second page, top, top line, just like the beginning. Second page, one. Position to A, right hand A, up and an octave. Two, three, four, and finish.